everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Justenia and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. And hit that notification bell so you can get all my uploading days, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, and keeping up with me daily. And follow me on all my social media. Today is Tip Tuesday and we're going to be talking about essential oils to help support PMDD, PMS, any menstrual disorders, or just your menstruation cycle in general. All these that I talk about will essentially support and promote wellness for you and you must include it into your wellness routine so that you can get oily with me. Let's get oily. Before I get into the oils that are should be part of your regimen and oils that will help you, let's talk a little bit of where essential oils, what they are and where they come from. Essential oils are derived from plants and different parts of the plants like flowers, the roots, the sack of the plant, the bark of the plant, all different aspects of the plant it comes from that. As well, the it's the lifeblood of the plant. So that's a little bit about that and you want to have a little bit of a fundamental background what essential oils are and there's a whole chemistry uh, behind it. They have carbons and hydrogens, atoms, a whole science behind it as well. Living, you will get a 5 mil or a 15 mil bottle. These are the two sizes that they have and this is where the oil will be in. It's a glass container to protect it and to preserve the oil. Always want your oils to be in glass, never in plastic. Chemicals will leach into the essential oils and that takes away from the purity of the oils. I'm going to show you a visual aid of the pathways of the essential oil throughout the body. And there is physiological and psychological uh, aspects of how the essential oils support our systems. So there's three different ways that essential oils, you can use them. And the, these are the three main ways that you could use essential oils. And that is orally, dietary, and through uh, smell, olfactory, and also through penetration um, topical. And so the first one is, and I'll show you a close up real quick so that you could see the chart a little bit. If you'd like the chart from, I'll probably link it down below, a picture of it. So the first is application. So that's again through orally, topically, or inhalation. So orally and liquid, you're gonna want to use your Vitality oils that you can ingest. And Young Living has a certain label. They're going to all have white labels and it's gonna say Vitality so that you know that you can ingest those oils. The next one is going to be topical and that's applying the oil onto your skin and it penetrates into your skin within 30 seconds into your bloodstream. And then the third way is aromatically and that's inhaling the essential oils. And each of these are going to be absorbed in certain organs of the body. In when you take it orally, it's gonna go into your stomach. When you take it topically, it's gonna go into your skin. A skin your skin is your largest organ. And then inhalation through your nose and into your lungs. So that's how it gets absorbed in it. So we just went through application and absorb. And now we're gonna go through how it goes into other organs and into excretion. So after the, when you take your oils orally, it goes into your stomach, absorbs into the small intestines, and then it goes into your large intestines and as well into your cardiovascular system. And your cardiovascular system is your nervous system and your endocrine grams. Uh, after your cardiovascular system, it's gonna go into your nervous system and your endocrine glands into your tissue organs. As well, it's gonna go into your liver and your pancreas and your reproductive organs. And then it's gonna excrete out of the kidneys and the bladder, the skin and the lungs. And then we go back into the second one, which is topically going onto your skin. So it goes on your largest organ, the skin, into your muscle tissue, as well into your cardiovascular system, which goes into your tissues and organs and your reproductive organs and your nervous system and endocrine glands. And then into your muscle tissue, into your joints, into your lymphatic system, back into the cardiovascular system. Then when you inhale it aromatically, it's gonna go through your lungs and into your nose. Lungs is gonna go into your cardiovascular system, again, your nervous system, endocrine system, tissues and organs and reproductive organs. And then through your nose, which is my favorite way to talk about because 
aromatically. It's really cool how this works. And it goes into your, after your nose and into your lungs, after your nose, it's gonna go into your olfactory system. It's going to go into your brain and release your, these certain hormones. It's gonna go into the limbic system, into the hypothalamus system, into the pituitary gland and your sex glands. And after the pituitary gland, it's gonna go into your adrenal glands, which sit on top of your kidneys on the back. And the limbic system, it's gonna go to the amygdala, hippocampus, into the emotional response, into the memory and learning and the intellectual process. And as well, the limbic system will go into the cerebral cortex, which goes into the electoral process as well. And then the hypothalamus also goes into the aggressive response and the sexual reproduction. So that's a little mini overview uh, visually how the oils go into all your systems and the three top of, the three different applications. So it's really, really interesting. And again, they all excrete all of them eventually excrete through the kidney, bladders, skin, and lungs. So that's a little bit about that. So let's get right into the oils that will help support your female sister. Stress away, keeps the stress away, helps promote that. And this has copaiba in it and vanilla as well. Let's see, it has copaiba, vanilla, cedar wood lime, okatia, okatia, and lemon. And it's a just a great blend and it's my favorite this is empty right now and it just smells so good and it's definitely part of my wellness regimen as you can see it is empty then next i have lavender and lavender promotes sleep helps support relaxation we definitely need a lot of relaxation in our luteal phase preparing for our period because with PMDD or any menstrual disorder, your stress cortisol levels, which is cortisol is stress, your stress levels are really, really super high and your serotonin levels are down. So this will help, you know, balance out and support your, you know, stress levels because lavender is very calming and helps just nurture your body. So that is really good. And uh, I like to apply it on my wrist, really like anywhere on my you know glands and on the bottom of my feet because it's going to go quickly into your system that way too. I like to put lavender at the bottom of my feet before I go to sleep because it just really helps promote relaxation and helps support your sleep. So that is lavender. And lavender is pretty a main oil that many people know about, but I like to also put it behind my like occiput area. It's just really, really good. And it can help support headaches too. So that occiput area by GB20 is really gonna help. And GB20 is like really that notch that you feel at the end of your head and your occiput. So that's really helpful too. And when you are highly stressed, you are not able to have your progesterone hormone to level and balance you out. And you essentially block it. So a little uh, knowledge on that. And then frankincense is such a grounding aroma and it smells so good. I just love it so much. And it's just frankincense in the oil and it's really good to help support your meditation practice. If you haven't seen my routine with PMDD, definitely go check that out. And that is just so wonderful. It's just so grounding and it just really promotes relaxation. Next up I have my Envision oil and this doesn't necessarily support your uh, female system but it's Envision. So this is just a, a young living oil and the aroma is like really really sweet and I just like to put it on my third eye and on top of my crown when I'm like doing my journaling and meditation it just helps me center myself and I just say I am peace because it, you know, like I'm visualizing peace. So th that oil is really important to me, but it doesn't necessarily support your female system that I know of. Next up, we have Palmarosa, which is connects to me with love and the emotion love. And it just has such a sweet, rosy, and I just love Palmarosa. I've loved Palmarosa for years. I've had it even before I was part of Young Living, but that's a really great oil to support, you know, loving yourself and promoting love. And I like to put this one on my heart. So I like to do like one drop or two drops topically is really good. And that's really enough, really one's enough. It really, really, you know, 
one drop does a lot so these oils go a really a long way so I like to put that on my heart chakra and then I like to put it on my throat chakra and my third eye chakra and it just smells so good and it just reminds me to love myself and for self-care and stress away and lavender I use like every day even when I don't have my luteal phase and when PMDD is kicking so in. We're gonna go into our Vitality oils and all these oils, you can ingest them. Are in a white label in Young Living and they say Vitality on them. Sclera Essence has peppermint, Spanish sage, clary sage, and fennel in it. And all these four together create a powerhouse. And the aroma is really brightening and, and strong, but it's smells really good and this you can put on your tongue i like to put one drop but that's essentially how i do it Sclerosin supports women health it gives you it promotes energy like up, it's like an uplifting oil add a drop to your tea or to like a toothpick and then put it in your tea because the oils will float on the top if you don't want it to directly touch your lips i just put it in the tea it doesn't matter to me uh, you can, you know, dilute it with an oil and put it on your body, like on your lower abdomen, you know, because it does support, you know, women's health and wellness in that area and that department. You're going to put on your lower abdomen because it's going to support th that part of your menstruation if you have cramps and whatnot. And I also use clary sage on my arms and clary sage is also just separate clary sage is part of my routine some of the oils that i'm going to be talking about i don't have with me um, but clary sage is definitely part of my regimen and it smells so good and it helps support your hormone balance the clary sage is a good combo with chamomile and putting it in a, a couple drops in the bath so you want to look at the oils that are in the bottle and do research on the different oils to see the different from what they promote spanish sage is what is going to be uplifting in the oil and that's what's going to promote that uplifting aroma and promote that clarifying for you and the spanish sage is from spain Ooh la la my mom is from spain i am spanish if you didn't know that and it's just going to you know promote that hormone balance again so this is a really good oil fennel oil it comes from the seed and it's steam distilled and the aroma in the fennel is just really really it smells really good and the fennel is actually really popular and the fennel is going to support your digestion and support, support you feeling grounded because we really want to feel grounded when we're going through our menstrual cycle the peppermint in the sclerosens is going to you know promote upliftingness and it's going to promote making you feel like awake and promote energy and it's also gonna help with uh, if you have nausea it could help with that it could help with digestive issues too if you put some in your your stomach quality oil so you could you know put this in a couple drops in your water and if you get headaches headaches is the one symptom I don't get with PMDD uh, but if you get headaches you could dilute this with a carrier oil and put it on the back of your neck and your shoulders and that's just gonna really help so much with supporting the mind. It also gives you a boost of positivity. All the oils in Sclerosense, and it's really good to know the different blends and find out what those different oils do for you as well. Flex oil, and this is gonna support your endocrine system, all your glands, and I did a separate video on Endoflex, so I'll definitely link that down below in the description box so that you can know what that does for you and bergamot bergamot is a this one is a vitality oil i just love bergamot the aroma is so beautiful i use bergamot i put it in a diffuser every time i intern at school giving people acupuncture and everybody raves about it the the customers the clients the people who are observing me interns that are with me as well bergamot is just so delicious and it's gonna give you that uplifting, it's gonna give you that energy, it's gonna support and promote that, it's gonna promote calmness, and it's just gonna promote peacefulness in you. And it's just gonna overall support your, your women system, your female system, so definitely get those oils. And other oils that I like to use is basil, clary, sage, like I said before, uh, basil, rosemary, uh, those oils are really really good for helping with PMDD and supporting that I like to put the oils in a blend and put it in 
you know, a five mil bottle. This one is a roll-on application. I have this roll-on application from my premium starter kit. And I like to do like a triangle because there's points there. And I like to rub it on my body too. I have a ton of oils on today. And then I have a little sample bottle if you wanna, you know, take it with you. Yang Lang is another oil that helps support your female system. And I have a carrier oil in here. Grapeseed, coconut oil, olive oil, those are all uh, carrier oils that you could do. Do about like 10 drops and this you could just rub all over your body and it smells delicious. Hydrosols are another way that you could put essential oils in. I like to spray it on my face, like things like this on my face, but I do make different hydrosols to spray in the room and it could be like an air freshener. I just love this stuff guys, it smells so good. And this essentially has the same water, uh, essential oils in it. And you wanna use distilled or filtered water as well because you wanna, you know, not have toxic water with your essential oils. And remember to use all glass amber, bo uh, amber bottles or cobalt blue. Those are gonna help protect the oils. You don't want your oils in the sun. You wanna keep them stored in a dark, cool place. Not like cool, cool, just room temperature type of area so that you preserve your oils and that they don't, you know, become gross. Basil oil is really, really, really awesome. And basil is obviously an herb too. And it has a lot of properties that are very beneficial to uh, your body in general. And it just helps with the female system too. With adrenal fatigue, any dizziness that you're having, promote, you know, like waking yourself up as, as well with the rosemary. I like to put rosemary, a couple drops of that in my shower before I get in the shower. Like I turn the water on and I put a couple drops in and it just helps, you know, wake your body up and wake up your system. A lot of these oils can help with nervousness. A lot of these oils will help, you know, promote relaxation and stress and just lower your cortisol levels. Rosemary is gonna help with your mentality. It's gonna help support upliftedness and having energy. So in my blends are geranium. Geranium is a really well-known uh, oil as well if you're an oiler. That is so beautiful too to help with women's female A lot system. of these oils are gonna help support your, your hormone balance. And because with PMDD, your hormones are out of balance. Estrogen, progesterone, FSF, FSH, LH, all those type of hormones. With using uh, essential oils in your regimen, again, you wanna drink a lot of water, especially if you are getting emotional releases from the oils, cause uh, oils can help with that. And you wanna drink a lot of water because you, you just wanna re you know replace that salt that you're excreting if you're crying from anything, any of the like, um, emotional releases. And you just wanna keep everything regulated and water helps, you know, regulate your hormones. Oils, you're essentially like detoxing your body. It helps support detox. So you wanna replace that with drinking a lot of water too. You're, when you're really having emotional releases, you're purging your body, you're purging. And you wanna re regulate that. Also with essential oils, I like to connect mantras with them or a affirmation to connect with it, to set the intention, a positive intention. And I also like to put them on my different chakras. We have seven chakras, there are seven energy wheels because I believe everything is energetic, Every, everything is energy. Energetically, you're gonna connect with those chakras and those essential oils and with those affirmations. And it just really, you know, setting that positive attention and it w will really uplift you and help with you and help you throughout your day because this is a, body, mind, soul, spirit connection. Having medication is like putting a band-aid on it and then masking it. And you really want to do the inner work. I always say this in all my videos and really get in touch with yourself and essential oils can help be part of your, it can help in your journey. And I just love the way they smell. And I always feel better after using essential oils and it's just really great for, for your systems. And other than that, that's all I have to say for this video to conclude that. There are other oils that um, also can help promote, like Dragon Thyme is an essential oil in Young Living. I just never had Dragon Thyme before. So there are other options out there too. These are just what I have in my wellness regimen and what I'm using at the moment. So I hope you find that helpful. I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope you enjoyed Tip Tuesday. 
Namaste. The light in me honors the light in you. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will be doing videos in the future on PMDD. I will be doing them, I will be doing a series of maybe two to three videos every time I have my luteal cycle so that I can bring you along with my journey and tell you what hasn't worked or what has progressed or what has stayed the same. I want to uh, create a community where we could all talk about this and be comfortable talking about this and that we can learn from each other. See you guys soon.